final part of our animated coin flip tutorial, we're going to show what additional changes are needed to our basic code to add the animation of the coin to our app. As a reminder, our app now has this brief amount of animation that shows before displaying heads or tails on the coin. In the last tutorial, we added this sprite class to our code, and we're not going to change that at all. Likewise, the main activity that we drew in the non-animated portion of our app is going to remain exactly the same. We're just going to make some modifications to this coin view class to add some code to incorporate the animation. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some state variables and some constants. This first one, frames of animation, shows the number of frames of animation we're going to show each time the coin is flipped. Since we have six frames in each rotation, using 30 frames of animation will allow us to show this coin being flipped five times before it finally lands. By increasing this number from 30 to a bigger number, we can increase the amount of time that the animation shows on the screen. Next, we're going to create this constant called Sprite Sheet Columns and set it to 6 because our Sprite Sheet has 6 columns. In this Coin Sheet Bitmap, we're going to store the bitmap that you see here. And in this Sprite Coin variable, we're going to contain the Sprite version of this coin. In this Drawable folder, we have imported this CoinSheet.png file that we're going to use as our Sprite Sheet we're going to convert this PNG file to a bitmap in our code. If you're looking for this, you can either find it on the internet. It is also going to be attached to the same lesson page where this video can be found. Alternatively, you can use any coin sprite sheet that you have legal access to. In our initialization method, we have decoded the coin sheet into a bitmap in the exact same way for the heads and the tails pictures. We've also created a coin sprite which we're going to use throughout our app. The last alteration we need to make to our coin view class is to implement the runnable interface. The runnable interface requires only one method to be written, which is this public void run method that you see just below the variable definitions. The advantages of using the runnable interface is that any code that you put in the run method runs in a separate thread than the user interface. In our app, having the animation separate from the user interface is perhaps not that critical because once the user presses the flip button, he or she will likely not press it again until the heads or tails is shown on the coin. However, if you're designing a video game where the action is fast and furious with the buttons while the sprites are moving, it is essential that the animation take place in a different thread than what controls the user interface. We want to call this run method now each time the user presses the flip button. In our flip method call, we have added this run method call as the first line. So in the main activity, just to follow the action, when the user presses the flip button, it will call this on click button listener. That will in turn call the coin views flip method. 30 frames of animation will be displayed through this for loop. This part of the app, of course, looks spontaneous to the user. This is the only one that actually takes up human time. With that, we're now ready to test our app. And now here it is with the blank interface, and when we press flip, 